Hello, my name is Bethany and I'm a naturalist here at Tamarack and I'm also a storyteller and I thought today I would share a story about frogs. But to make the story even more fun, I thought we could make some frog noises together. Now you might have a frog noise maker at home, but you can also make the sound of some of our Minnesota frogs at home with stuff you might just have around. So if you would like to be a chorus frog, you can take a comb and run your fingernail along the tines of the comb and make a sound like one of our chorus rocks. If you have a rubber band, you can take it and stretch it out and well, you can hear different sounds and make a sound like one of our green frogs. So in our story, whenever I say the word frog, I would like you to make a frog sound with your voice or with something you found around the house. This story is from a place in Africa that was once called Zaire and is now called the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Once there was a village that was full of life and part of that life was frogs. There were frogs in the fields and frogs in the trees, tree frogs. And the villagers loved that their village was full of life. Now one night the chief of the village, generally a wise man, woke up and could not fall back asleep because of the sound of the frogs. He tossed, he turned, and he could not fall asleep. The frogs kept singing, kept calling, kept going. In the morning, he called the entire village together and said, Village, as your chief, I am asking you to go kill all the frogs. The villagers knew that their chief was generally a wise man, and they didn't know that he hadn't slept that night, which sometimes makes a lot of us less wise. And they went and did as he asked except for one woman, one old woman, who leaned back, crossed her arms, shook her head and said, everything is connected. The chief thought you probably wouldn't be very good at catching frogs. Anyways, the villagers did their duty. They did their task. They killed all the frogs. And when the village went to sleep that night, they climbed into bed, relaxing into the sound of the silence when a new sound started. <laughs> there were mosquitoes, there were mosquitoes everywhere. The mosquitoes were oh, in their beds, in their chairs, in their houses. They were everywhere. And the villagers slept and they snacked and they tried their best to try to stop the mosquitoes, but they could not slow them down. The next morning, when everyone woke up, having never really fallen asleep, the village all came together. The chief called a meeting and the chief said, go kill all the mosquitoes. The villagers looked at each other. They'd been trying all night to do that. They couldn't do that. They went off, they tried, all except for the old woman who leaned back, crossed her arms, shook her head and said, everything is connected. I've heard the story told two ways. One, that eventually the frogs came back. And the other, that everyone was so miserable that they eventually just moved away and let the mosquitoes have the village to themselves. But either way, I think they all learned that everything is connected. Thanks for listening and go find some frogs for yourself.